Hello, so this video today is going to be about iterative sequences. So sequences that we can generate from iterative formulas. So you probably would have seen iterative formulas before. So something like this example here. So an plus one is equal to, uh, for example, two over an minus one. And they give you in the question here that a zero is five. So what is an iterative formula. So an iteration basically generates a sequence of the numbers. So in this case, we've got a formula here. Um, when we plug a number into this number here, so for example, the number five, we get two divided by five take away one, which is two divided by four, which is a half. So we generate the number one half. So we've generated a number in a, in a sequence of numbers. To get the next number in that sequence, we're then going to substitute the result we get. So the result we got was a half when we plugged in uh, a n equals five. So if we plug in a half into here, we get two divided by a half take away one. Half take away one is minus half. Two divided by negative a half gives you negative four. So then you generate the next number in the sequence. So the way that an iteration works is it's um it's taking iterations. It's generating numbers within a sequence using this iterative formula. So we've got an example here. Calculate the next three terms in the sequence. It's just a brief example to show you how iterations work. Um, OK, so again, how it works. So your next number of the sequence is going to be two divided by your previous number, take away one. Your next number of the sequence is going to be two divided by your previous number, take away one. And your next number of the sequence is going to be two divided by your previous number, take away one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of how these iterations work. Uh, you get a number, you generate a number from the formula, plug that back into your formula, generate a new number, plug that back into your formula. It could be any formula you like as well. So, I mean, let me just write up a, uh, another brief example. Uh, so example number uh, two could be something like a n plus one equals a n uh, take away two could be something like uh, a n plus one equals uh, three times by a n squared plus seven anything like that where you've got uh, the previous number you plug that into this formula and that generates your next number a n plus one your next number of the sequence um, and again this a n a subscript n notation just means, yeah, the numbers in the sequence. So a sequence, for example, uh, A0, A1, A2, A3. So these A values are just the numbers in the sequence. A0 is the first term. A1 is the second one. A2 is the third one. A3 is the fourth one, and so on and so on. So it's just generating a sequence of numbers. So going back to this first example, so we're just going to look at this first example today. Calculate the next three terms in the sequence. So to do this, remember our first term in the question told us that it was uh, the number five. So a zero equals five. So we're just going to plug that into the formula. We get two divided by a zero, take away one. So two divided by four, uh, which is going to give you a half. So we get a half there. Then our next number of the sequence, again, using the same formula. So two divided by a one, take away one. A one's a half. So we get two divided by a half, take away one, just two over negative half. How many halves go into two? That's four, but you've got the negative sign there. So we get negative four. So that's our next number of the sequence. And then our third number, two divided by negative four, negative one. That's going to give us a two over negative five. So we get negative two over five is our next number of the sequence. So the first four terms of the sequence, so first four terms of the sequence. So five is your first one because they give us five in the question. But I always tell you what the first term of the sequence is. So five is your first term. A uh, half is your next one, minus four is your next one, and minus two over five is your next one. So that's how we generate the first four numbers in that sequence, uh, in this sequence specifically. So an plus one equals two over an plus, sorry, uh, minus one, starting with an a zero value of five. So that's how we would generate uh, the first four terms in that sequence. So that's just a brief example of how these iterations work, um, and they work exactly like that. Uh, you have a number, plug it into your formula, you get the next number of the sequence, then use that next number to plug into the formula again to get your next number of the sequence. It's just generating sequences of numbers.